Hello everyone, what's going on and welcome back to another edition of Flick News. The show here on Flick Direct where I give you guys the latest and entertainment news throughout the week and then I give you all my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Asta Putnam, and this week guys was a very slow week. I mean, this was very, very slow for not only TV news, but also film news, but there were some things that came out that I want to talk about with you all this week. As you all know, Spooky Season is officially underway, and one of the biggest horror films to come out this year besides Cell X, which, by the way, I really much enjoyed Cell X, but I'm not talking about that film right now. We're talking about The Exorcist Believer, which is the first and three new films a brand new trilogy directed by david gordon green and let's i don't know if he's gonna be making the rest of the movies i know he made this one so it's all but there is gonna be he's gonna be making exorcist deceiver if i remember correctly this is the next title for the film but anyways the film let's just say debuted to a not so confident ron tomatoes score as i am talking right now guys the ron tomatoes score for exorcist believer is 20 three percent ouch this is believer is a direct sequel to such an iconic horror film one of the most iconic horror films a lot of knowing that a sequel that has connections to that movie is low this low rated knowing that this movie has not been getting great reception just absolutely sucks knowing that a film that is part of such an iconic legacy it's a darn shame guys it really really is this particular tv show it was one of my favorite shows actually it was my favorite show of last year you guys know how much i love peacemaker in fact i did the review for the blu-ray on this channel look it up it's i'll put actually look at the description below because peacemaker absolutely rules everyone was wondering where Peacemaker Season 2 is going to come to play because, as reported, if you guys don't remember correctly, James Gunn is now the co-CEO of DC Studios. He's been doing a whole lot of stuff, like not just directing Superman Legacy, which he's going to be filming very, very soon, writing Creature Commandos on top of that, making this entire internet story of DC stories when Peacemaker Season 2 is coming. And apparently, guys, get this, the scripts for season two of Peacemaker are officially underway. How in the heck is James Gunn gonna keep the same quality of writing when he is making other things at the moment? I mean, I can't, I don't know how the man does it because clearly this man has a lot of passion for comic books. I mean, he didn't mention he's a huge comic book film, but still, the fact that James Gunn is doing all of this stuff, I mean, like I said to you guys earlier, writing and directing Superman Legacy, writing Creature Commandos, making sure that everything stays connected in the DC, DCU, DCU, making sure that Peacemaker Season 2 is done, which, by the way, I've heard he's going to be directing all of the episodes of Season 2, to which, honest to God, knowing how busy the DCU is, I don't think that's going to even be possible at this point. Either way, work is being done, and it's going to see what James Gunn's going to do with his DCU. I'm very, very excited. Moving on to our last news story. This is a bit of a bummer. I mean by a bit, I mean a huge bummer, particularly for one of the juggernauts of subscription services for streaming, Netflix. As you guys are very well aware, Netflix is the really the original streaming service out there, at least in my personal opinion. Amazon Prime came afterwards, HBO Max, really now Max, Hulu, Shudder, I mean Paramount Plus, MGM Plus, ESPN. I mean the amount of streaming services out there, guys, is just absolutely in Insane. What is something that a streaming service will do or a subscription service will do every now and again? Raises prices. If you're all like me and you pay for Netflix, Netflix is kind of getting expensive and more and more expensive by, it seems like, by the day because the last time the subscription service, the streaming service, raised its price, it was like $17.99. Well, guess what, guys? Netflix is raising its prices once again very very soon i don't have the exact confirmation number of how much of it's raising its prices but if it gets to a certain point i'm mostly gonna have to cancel my netflix knowing that netflix is gonna be raising its prices once again just absolutely sucks and it just makes me think 
just at this point, is it actually worth it to keep Netflix? Is it worth it to have any streaming service when knowing that the prices are just going to keep? Oh, I almost forgot Disney Plus. But anyways, game back to the point. Is it worth it to keep a streaming service when it just keeps rising its prices? Knowing that Netflix is doing this again very, very soon at a very soon price hike. It kind of sucks. And that is going to wrap things up for this week's show. Please comment down below starting off. How do you all feel about the Exorcist Believers Ron Tomatoes score? Do you think the film is that better? Or do you think the film is not nearly as better as some people are saying it is? How do you all feel about Peacemaker Season 2 finally underway? Do you think that James Gunn is going to find the time to direct all the episodes? Or do you think he's just going to be writing everything? And finally, how do you all feel about Netflix raising its prices once again, are you going to keep your Netflix again or are you going to delete it now at this point? Let us know below. I hope you enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for the latest new show goes live. If you guys want to see for previous two new shows, please click it right there or right there. And of course, until next week's new show goes live, we'll see you all next week. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Hit like, smash subscribe, and get notified for when our reviews, interviews, and news go live.